Did you know that Revit is a great tool for interior design projects as well? So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create those three types of fireplaces directly in Revit. The first thing you have to do is to pick a proper template. So in this case, I'm going to start with a family and I'm going to pick metric generic model. Before I start modeling, uh, we have to determine the sizes of the fireplaces. So in this case, as well as the elements which, which we are going to model. So let's uh, do the breakdown. The first thing which I'm going to make is this uh, base over there. And I'm going to make it to be 25 millimeters depth. And let's say that the width is, I'm going to make it 1.8 meters. Then the second element is this big chimney. And then we have this all over here. And then we also have this nice trim element over there. So to create a base in Revit, I'm going to take extrusion tool. And because we have some kind of offset here uh, from this chimney part and the basement, I will make that to be 25 millimeters as well. So I will just offset this for 25. And then this could be 850. So as I said, 1.8, 900 is a half. And just be aware that this one is 25 millimeters. I forgot one thing, uh, we have a small radius, so I'm going to create it and I'm going to make it to be 25 millimeters. So it's here. And if you may wonder what is that, that's this part over here. So the second element which I need to create is a chimney part and I'm also going to use extrusion tool in this case, but I'm going to have a start of 25 millimeters and a height of let's say two and a half meters. So before I start creating a hole, I need to create a trim. And I'm going to assume that this height here is from the floor, let's say 1.1 meters. I will go to the front view and I'm going to create a reference plane. Let's name it as Arctisio 1 and the height needs to be 1.1 meters. So how we can create a trim? The way to make a trim there is to go to sweep, a sketch pad, I will go to the reference plane and then I need to set the work plane. So in this case, I'm going to use this reference plane I just made and I'm going to make it look like this. Let's go to front and I'm going to create a profile in this case. So let's say that my profile will be 125 by, doesn't matter, 75 maybe. Let me just check. Okay, I think 125 is a lot. I can make it 75 by 75, doesn't matter. Or sorry, I'm going to make it 100. And then I'm just going to start sketching this profile. Let's go to 3D, confirm this, and here comes that. So I have to make one more thing, actually two more things for this one, and that's to create uh, the opening here. So I'm going to go to create void forms, void extrusion. Feel, uh, just check the reference plane. This one is a good one. And then I'm going to make it 
300 side and maybe 350 from the reference plane and then I'm going to also create this as a radius of 350 I think that this is going to look nice let's close this so start at zero go to the reference plane and I'm just going to drag this in the back and let's make it to go 750 so you see how nicely is cutting our geometry if it's not the situation uh, in your model you just need to take the cut tool and then cut the solid and the void form uh, but we are missing one more thing for this one to be done and if you take a closer look we have some kind of the nice radius here and I have to create it as well so for this one I'm going to go to the void forms again or actually you can go to the sweep you don't need to go to the void forms sketch path and let's just check the reference plane so it's a good one and I'm going to take this uh, as our path so we'll go to the reference plane and I'm going to create a profile so in this case I'm going to make it 50 then let's say 5 millimeters inside and I'm going to do the same here take the R tool and make it like this because we are going to create a void my recommendation is to have the lines to stick a little bit out of, ge of the geometry which we are going to cut it off so let's make it 5 millimeters to stick out and the same with this one But in this case, I made a solid form, not by mistake, I wanted to make it that way. So if it happened to you, you can just select the void form and then here in the properties palette, instead of solid, just pick void. So if it doesn't cut like here, as I said before, just go to cut, pick the main geometry, pick the sweep tool, and you see how this is going to nicely cut. Uh, there is one more thing uh, and that's the height so if you would like to associate the height parameter here you need to select our chimney geometry and then pick this small uh, box here associate parameter and create a new parameter I'm going to call it as a height and for example if I make the height of three meters it will follow so it means that once you load this into your projects, uh, you will be able to adjust the height by this parameter. Just save this family. To create the second one, we need to do the same thing. We need to pick a proper family template. So again, it's going to be metric generic model. So this one, I'm going to assume that let's say the width is 1.5 meters. And I'm going to make a height of 1.1. So again, I'm going to take extrusion tool. next thing is to create this cut above I will create a reference plane
and now let's just making those openings here so the first one is going to be this square cut Trim this out. Then the second one is this opening with the radial edges. Trim this and then just take a fillet and let's make this 150. So this one needs to go minus 150. So you see how it looks like and then there is one more thing to create here and that's this nice radial form here and then here as well. So again, just make this to stick a little bit. And then repeat the same thing at those two edges. lock it there so you saw that in this case I was using void extrusion not void sweep and I'm going to repeat the same here actually I'm going to select this one we'll go to the reference plane and I'm just going to mirror this so the second one is done save it and let's move to the third one the same thing for a third one, metric generic model family, and then I'm going to make this, let's say, uh, in a width and in a height, uh, 1.2 by 1.2 meters. And then the depth is going to be, let's say, 300, because this one is not so deep. Extrusion again, and then make this 300 as I said and then 600 from here so 1.2 in total width and the height 1.2 meters and I think that this one is pretty easy to create so what we are going to do we need to create as you see here take a closer look that we have to create the radius so we also have it's visible here some kind of offset while here is almost zero okay uh, which means that okay need to maybe decrease the height a little bit okay so i'm going to go to the front view and then here i'm going to create a sweep I will take actually void sweep. 
so for a pet as you saw that we have some kind of offset by sides and i'm going to make it 25 by 25 so from the sides kill the offset and then i will pick this from middle to middle and then to go like this trim this Big fine and then to the in a reference plane uh, i need to create a profile so this profile i'm going to make to be okay i will make this to be 150 so let's say 75 offset 75 and we can make this to be let's say 30 degrees maybe it's a lot I think it is what I'm going to do actually will be to make this to be this this looks better when it's 20 and let's just uh, make it to stick out a little bit so trim this out it's done and there is one small thing which I would like to do here is to make it to be 1175 so you see that's on a zero at the top like it's in our model and also i'm just going to fix this a little bit so i'm going to make this to be 250 or 225 this is better this seems better and then there is one thing left so let's go to the front view and create void extrusion so we need to cut this small part And this one needs to go till the end. So you see how it look like. It's pretty the same as the one here. And there is one thing more and you need to do for all three types uh, I did. So uh, I don't like, um, actually, I don't suggest you to create uh, the materials inside a family. Instead, I suggest to create family parameter for material. So just select your, uh, your geometry and then here on this small box, create new material and name it as fireplace click ok click ok save this family and you are done if you have any questions just feel free to write in the comments and if you like this video just hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and feel free to share our videos with your friends